Hi, all you lovely creative people. This is June from Local Witch Lane Designs. How are you today? It's a beautiful day in New York. Um, and it's springy and it's all sorts of pretty with all the colors, all the greens and the pinks and some yellows and stuff. So it's very pretty around here. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to get up my chat. Hope you can hear me. Um, because the last time I started with this moving chat over just a tad, the last time I started, because I'm in a different location and I'm using my laptop, that the volume wasn't on. So if anybody can't hear me, I would really appreciate it if you let me know. All right, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna be finishing up this uh, Christmas ball that's really now a Halloween ball. I'm gonna be painting her head, putting a little um, cloak around her and then putting hair. And if we have enough time, I think I'll even needle felt her hat needle felt the hat for her so let me see am i even live yeah i am live yep okay all right <laughs> you know oh it says live right up there i don't even have to watch okay so um nobody's here yet uh, i don't know if i should just switch over and start working i hope whoops i hope all of you are well my phone is going uh let's see all right live now the angels versus the yankees anybody want to know about that okay well it shows me that only one person is watching so i'm going to flip my camera around and hopefully more people will come in so i can start work on this project let's see let's get to this here Alrighty, and I don't want it mirrored because that gets me confused. Okay, let's start. Let's get this out of the way. I'm not sure I like, I hope this is bright enough. I'm not sure I like all the shadows this gives, but okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to paint her paint her face. Now I put some paper clay right over here trying to fix it a little bit. I so I don't know if I'm going to be able to paint it. Well, wait, hold on. Let me get something. Oh, and I got to put, bring my chat up again. Okay. All righty. Let's see what we're doing here. Okay. I need to get a proper paintbrush. This one's too big. All right, let me see. Oh, no, that one's not. Oh, this one looks good. Try this one. Okay. Hey, Joanne, how are you, sweetie? You're the first one here tonight. I missed Susan earlier. Ah. Uh, my days are getting a little confusing. How's your garden doing? Have you been working on it? Hey, Shannon, how are you, sweetie? Oh, am I working? I'm making this a very light color. Uh, this is that folk art that I've had, linen. Hey, Ashley, how you doing, sweetie? So almost all of my ride and die people are here now. We're missing your mom, but I know, you know, she'll want to try, if she can come in later, that would be great. If she can, if she can't, that's okay. So Joanne, have you been doing, did you do more in your garden? I got the, um, okay, I have a patch. I don't even know if I told you guys this, you ladies this, but I have a patch on, where my where my lawn meets the street i'm good or i'm good shannon work today outside i was late for susan didn't get there until oh goodness oh good why well, I, I sort of missed the whole thing i was involved with a few other things at around that time okay i know you're getting ready 
I know, Ashley, how exciting. So I have the, I had them, I had the uh, landscapers have to put in a piece of sod for me. And it wasn't a very big area. It was maybe, I don't know, 10 feet by four feet. And anybody ever remember that song called Patches I'm Dependent on Your Son? <laughs> well, they use so many different patches from wherever, I don't know if they had it left over from another job or what the heck, but that the whole area really looks funny. It's all different color greens. They're all going different ways. But you know what? I don't even care anymore. It's done because I have not, I used to, what I'm getting in certain areas of my lawn um, is, love the tennis shoes, Ashley. Okay. Um, I'm getting, uh, what am I getting? I had nut sedge, which sage, sedge, I don't know what it's called, but it's a type of grass that is very invasive and I don't like it. And so I put a lot of, I had, this is the second time I've gotten this, this area, uh, put with sod. So I'm hoping this works and maybe because it looks like such a wreck already now for the person who d is very particular about landscaping work, um, my new landscapers aren't exactly the best, but they, they, they did not so bad. I guess they, uh, cut the hedges. Kind of shoes. How are you, Julian? I'm good, but uh, I'm tired. I'm tired, but a good tired. Yes, because she worked outside today. Thank you. I'm excited. Thank you, Joanna. I'm excited to get to wear them. I love this. Okay. So that's my. I just wanted to make sure I got caught up on chat. Has it been decided, Ashley? Bathing dogs. Oh gosh, spraying weeds. I have that weed killer that I that I make that's not harmful. Uh, wait a minute. It's been basically doing prep work. The way to if you annuals and vegetables. I've been pulling up. Um, yeah. Okay. I. You know what? I know it. I don't know how to say that one. The L I R O P E. I don't know how to say it. I think I know what it looks like. So uh, the way to do if you for annuals. Yes. Okay, well, vegetables, you can wait a little bit, I think. You don't have to do vegetables right just yet. So, okay, I think I, I'm going to add more color to her face, like her cheeks and everything else like that. But right now, what I just want to do is start sewing. We're going to do a lot of different crafts tonight. Oh, okay, so I have my patch. Oh, this is um, some black uh, tulle fabric. And I this is not from a roll. I had to get this as a piece of fabric. Here we wait until after the Kentucky Derby to plant. Has what been decided? Oh, I'm sorry, who, oh, who you're... Um, Who's replacing? I don't I don't know if I should be saying that too loud. I don't want to, you know, I don't know who's in hearing. Where did I just put? This is gonna, this is gonna freak out. Oh, there it is. I was wondering where I put my needle. So I'm just going to do a gather stitch on this just to gather this up and then I'll cut off what I don't want. Hey, Tony, how are you? Glad you're here. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank goodness. Yes, I didn't. Uh, uh-huh. Okay, I'm glad you use earbuds. Excellent. 
Excellent, excellent. Okay. Well, I, I wish you lots of, you know, the best of luck on that one. You know that. Okay, I'm just going to do a gathering stitch. I do this a lot with tulle or even um, when I'm making skirts on the mice. Most of the, the, the skirts are, um, if they're tulle or if they're fabric, they usually have tulle underneath them anyway to keep them fluffy. So this is just, I don't know what this is called, a running stitch. It's not anything in particular. You know, you're just trying to get it so you can pleat it up around. And the thing that's good with this is because I'm going to be gluing her hair down. So I don't have like, I so I'm able to glue this down without a problem. I hope. What's the matter, Tony? What happened, Tony? How did you get in the hospital? Oh gosh. Wait till wait till I tell Cora and Megan. I got all, I got all famished here now. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't. You know, you might not want to divulge while you're in the hospital, but um, I hope that everything's okay. Let's just leave it like that. I'm, I I get. You know what? I get so I get to thinking that it's only us, and yet you know, not that I have thousands of people. Oh, wait a minute. Hi, Aunt Ev. In case my aunt, my aunt Evelyn is watching me. Hi, Aunt Ev. I know you can't answer me, but I just wanted to say hello. I love you if you're watching. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So they're going to do the Rotorooter type thing and put a scent in? Hi. Oh, God. Okay. My husband had heart trouble. I don't, so, I mean, he had uh, quadruple, yeah, quadruple bypass surgery, I think, when he was 40 or 41 years old. Or is that, yeah, he was the youngest guy or something like that. He was the youngest person that uh, NYU had ever, one of the youngest. Yes, yes. Okay. Do they, are you, are you, okay. Hey, Shirley. How are you, sweetie? Okay, Anthony. Um, all right. So now you're going to have to text me tomorrow or what's tomorrow, Thursday on Friday. Cause you might just want to relax tomorrow, but now I got to know if you're going to be okay. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Well, I went to, the, I've been going to the doctor and uh, I have high, I just got put on high blood pressure medicine. <sighs> it's because I know what it is from, because there's been a little bit of stress <laughs> uh, around the house recently. And okay, this is what I'm trying to do. It's going to be hard to hold her up and see. I'm just trying to make it like she has a little bit of a, a cape. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Thank you, Anthony. So I'm on high blood. My blood pressure wasn't, I didn't think it was that high. It was 140 over something. 
But because it was the same like that two times when I went to see my GP, she decided to put me on high blood pressure medicine. So I just started it the other day and I'm taking my blood pressure now about three times a day because I want to, you know, I want to get off this as soon as possible, but I have to, um, I have to, uh, whatchamacallit, I have to lose some weight and I got to keep exercising, but the medicine is unfortunately making me a little like lightheaded or dizzy. So where's my scissors here um today because i would yesterday i walked with a friend but today i would have been walking alone oh here they are shoot they're right in front of me so i um i used the treadmill up in up in this in our little new art room and um so i used that so that way i was home and if anything happened if i got dizzy at least i was in I, at least i was in my house so where did everything i don't even okay i gotta take my glasses off and pay attention to what the heck i'm doing because i think i cut this too short all right let's see because i don't want to do this again because it always ends up i always end up doing things twice oh and i just lost my chat because i just touched it how did that happen okay I'm just trying to not cut my my thread just yet. I'm trying to cut the because I cut it, of course, too short. I saw a chat move. Hold on. Let me just get my thread out of here. If I count, really, I can't get my. <laughs> oh shoot! Really? Oh, you know what? I don't need the. I don't need the needle. We're just gonna cut the needle off. Okay. Let's make this as easy as possible. Uh, trying, trying to, yeah, trying to cut. I didn't quit yet totally, but trying to <laughs> quitting the nicotine gum is not helping. How is the quitting going? It's going. It's not going great because recently it's just been a little too nerve wracking. But I am starting to uh, pull back an awful lot, and I'm hoping that. I just have to stop getting, I just have to have talks with myself because I'm not sure if it's, now it's just habit. There's some times where I really crave it, but now it's just habit. Like if I get bored, I want to put it, you know, so it's, it's been a rough road. Um, but she, you know, I, she increased another medicine, but then she put me on the, the high blood pressure medicine and, um, I, ha I just have to start walking. I, well, I am walking. I just have to concentrate on losing weight because some of my other numbers were a little off, which is all okay. It really is okay because I know uh, I should be like 40 pounds lighter, I think, if it is. Wait a minute. Yeah, 40 pounds lighter. So 40 pounds on a five foot two person is a lot of weight for my, you know, for me to carry. And it would be better for my back, my knees, everything, if I was, you know, just lighter. If I could get to get rid of it, or if not 40, at least 30 pounds, you know? So we're going to try to do that. And um, I'm watching my cholesterol. Although my good cholesterol is very high, I... My sister keeps telling us, telling me that because I'm Italian, I know my last name is Gallagher, but that's my married name. I am Italian. And some people from the Mediterranean have this thing where they their cholesterol, even though it sounds high, um, the, the percentage of um, good cholesterol versus your total cholesterol, if that's good percent, because mine is so high, that might be the reason why my total cholesterol is high. So it gets every, it just gets a mess. But if I lose the weight, we're going to be fine. That's what's going to, that's the whole thing. It'll be fine. So.
All right. So she's going to have now, I don't know. She's going to have it just like this for a little while because I can um, make it cut it shorter. Well, I'm saying both the meeting tool is weight, I know. Okay. And that will always kind of be a thing. I constantly chew normal gum because it becomes a habit to need something. Yeah. You know what, Ashley? The problem is I tried the, uh, the cinnamon gum and I don't like the texture of the gum. I don't like, well, first of all, I don't eat sugar. I don't chew sugarless gum because of the chemicals they put in sugarless gum, like, affect me. Um, I can't stand stevia, which is another thing. I just can't stand stevia. And, and, um, let's see what else. So I, and so I can't have sugarless gum. I tried, tried in sugarless gum and that was a total waste of money. So I don't know what else to try, but some of the, like the regular texture of, so I just got big red, which is uh, cinnamon gum, but it has the sugar in it, but it's such a, a mamby pamby piece of gum once you start chewing it. You know, it's like got no, it's just bleh. And I wish it had more body to it. I know here I am talking about gum with body, but Nicorette gum has, is like a, it's a firmer piece of gum. It's not like one of these things that's all yuck muck. Okay. So we have to figure out what we're doing here while the glue the glue goes on, holds it for a second. And let me just do a knot here. When you use two threads, I mean, you could do that whole thing of, you know, um, you making a knot, but you can just make a knot like this, tie a knot like it, tie knots on shoes. Sometimes it's easier than trying to do that other thing. I know people who sew are probably looking at me like, uh, oh my goodness, but maybe they're not watching it, so it doesn't matter. Are you nervous, Anthony? I mean, somebody's probably, a lot of you people are probably saying, of course she is, of course he is. Yeah, the shiggle scum is not good. Hi, Martha. How are you, sweetie? I don't like Stevie. However, I do drink that diet that which has asp. I, I think a lot of gum that even the big red has the aspartame in it. Well, that's okay. If that's your only addiction, I my addictions were salt and coffee and Nicorette gum. So since my blood pressure was high, I have done with no, you're not nervous? Good for you, bud. Okay, um, so since I I gave up like half of my salt already, gave that up real easy. Uh, then my coffee, I'm trying to get it down to just like I usually have like two cups. I'm trying to get it down to a little bit smaller than that. And um, what was the other thing? The nicotine gum I'm trying to get off of. So hopefully all of this would work. I'm walking, you know, and I also have to watch my cholesterol. But the thing is, I'm not really, I don't really eat a lot of meat at all. And so, um, what was I going to say? I don't eat a lot of meat. So it's, it's not like that, but I'm just going to, I'm really going to watch my cheese because I was eating a lot of cheese because I happen to absolutely love cheese. And I also happen to like butter a lot. But because uh, when you bake fresh bread, for me, nothing's better than toasting it and putting a piece and putting like butter on it. I know this is going crazy. Okay. Hey, Sandra, how you doing? No, Barbara, um, Barbara is not feeling so well tonight. And, and um, so I don't know if she's watching in the background, but if she is, hi, Barbara, feel better, sweetie. Um, or if she watches tomorrow, that's okay. Um, the coffee you need to pick, they're making you... Quit coffee, Anthony? You know, like, come on. <sighs> I hate this, that they make us, you know, like, that's the only thing I do. I mean, every once in a while, I'll have a drink. Um, so I don't exactly consider myself an alcoholic because I have a drink maybe once or twice a month. 
And then I don't eat a lot of candy or ice cream or chocolate. I, I it doesn't I, to me. I'd rather have potato chips, which of course links into the 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 sodium stuff, which I'm not allowed to have. So it's just it's it's a mess. They want to off coffee. You know, by the time you finished off coffee, off this, off that, it's like okay, now what? You know, like. But I don't want to be on high blood pressure medicine. So we're going to have to do something. I'm hoping she'll get me off it if I lose the weight. Because I don't want to be on this stuff for the rest of my life. That's for sure. Because you're not even allowed to have one drink with this stuff. And like I said, I'm not an alcoholic. But I do appreciate or look forward to having a drink every now and then. So, okay. The caffeine. That's all I do to no soda or anything, coffee and water only. Yes, I love coffee, but I drink it black. That's right. Shannon, I drink it black also. No sugar, no cream. And Sandra, by the way, hi, sweetie. Uh, I know I said hello before, but how are you feeling? Because I know you weren't feeling so good or something was going on with um, – I might have to do that, Shannon. I might have to go to half caffeine. I think something was going on with your hands. I'm not sure. I don't remember – Sandra, that I remember that something was going on is a big thing because I got to tell you, my daughter's <laughs> telling me I have to go for the dementia test, okay? Because it things are really bad over here. I drink too many ginger ale a day and constantly chew gum. I love ginger ale, but you know what I do now is I have salsa. That's what I've been drinking is salsa because salsa doesn't have the salt in it. I think club soda does. What kind of gum do you chew in? Is it good? Is it a brand that's halfway decent? I know it's probably sugarless, but we'll go with that. What the heck at this point? I'll see what the ingredients are. Okay, so let me talk about something else besides my uh, my high blood pressure pills that are driving me crazy. Okay, uh, yes, it was my shoulder, but you're doing better now. Excellent, Sandra. I'm glad. I'm very happy for you. Okay. All right. Starboard. Okay. I'm going to see if I can try that. Starboard Juicy Fruit. All righty. I'm going to see if we see if I can get something. I like cinnamon better, so maybe it, I don't know. I'll have to find another cinnamon, but I can do that if it's got texture. Um, but then I'm worried about the sugar. I, no, but that sugarless gum, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay. So I had a... Let me see if there's any pieces here that I didn't glue yet. I had a hanker, this like a, a long thing of this type of, I don't even know what it's called. It's not yarn. It's not wool. Maybe it's viscose, if I'm saying that right. Um, because for a while there, all of my dolls, I loved making dolls with red hair. This is what it looked like. And it was just long. And um I don't even know. What, I've had it for so long. It was in my uh, my needle felting with my wool. So I just pulled it out. And what I did was I started to make tufts of hair. And just so you can all see what I was doing to make tufts, um, that might have to be a bang, is um, you just pull some hair out. I've done this before. But this is how you can do hair. You cut... You cut it so that it's, let me get my bigger scissors because those aren't going to work, right? You cut it so that it's a flat thing. Okay, and then you take your fabric tack. Okay, well, good. Don't aggravate the tendonitis, Sandra. Be careful. And you know what? I'm going to try ice cubes. I'm going to try it. I've seen it. I'm going to try that one. Okay, so you take the fabric tack and you just lay it gently on top of the cut you just made. And then what I usually do is I wet my fingers. And because fabric tack doesn't um, stick to wet fingers, I press the fabric tack in to all of the fibers so that it holds it that it holds all of them and if you keep your fingers um moist with water 
the fabric tack won't stick and it sort of becomes like a gel that you can push around a little bit. See, it's like a little bit of a gel. Now my hand got dry, so there you go, fix that. So that's how you make hair when you have, um, I hope everybody saw that. That's when you have when you have like a hank of something that you want to make hair of. You just pull it out. I'll do it again. Pull it out a strand. Okay. I only. It doesn't matter what the bottom looks like because you can cut it. But I try to get the top where I'm gluing it to be straight across. And I try to do it. Now I am not the best person with hair. I. I usually try to get away with just as much as I can get done because I'm not really like, you know, ugh, hair can be a pain in the neck sometimes. I've noticed people that make all these beautiful, some of these artists, I don't know if any of you have ever seen her, but if you have a chance to see her polymer clay dolls, it's called Virginie Roper, R-O-P-A-R-S. If you look her up on Facebook, whoever has Facebook, it's, it's Virginie, it's V-I-R-G-I-N-I-E, I think. She's French. And her, what she does with polymer clay and figures is phenomenal. You might not like her style, but you have to, you have to admit that she is talented. She is very, very talented, and I admire her quite a bit. So, um, yeah, she's she's really good with hair. Oops, okay. So that's all you have to do with that. Let's see, this one isn't used. And usually I'm making more tufts, but this is like, a this is a little Christmas ball. It's not gonna be anything. And I think I'll even have time to needle felt her hat, which would be nice so that we can see it from beginning to end. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, now this is usually, okay, I'm going to explain this. Usually when I'm doing a doll and I'm, I do it in layers, uh, the first layer goes down. Now she doesn't even have ears because her hat is going to come down like this. Let's see. Her hat's going to come down like this. So she doesn't have to have ears. Um, and her face, I tried to with this paper clay. It's really hard for me to get it smooth. But I can, even though I painted this with uh, this linen folk art, I can go back over it with uh, paper clay and add some stuff into it. It's not a problem. And I don't really have to go all the way to here. I might end up doing it anyway, but I don't have to because she's going to have a very large hat on. So the only thing I really have to do is make sure I get hair to hang out, like come down so it's below the hat. like that to go and if you can change how you put her hair on depending on how the hair is laying you just flip it is this did I not put enough glue down on this side okay I felt that something was wrong come on But seriously, if if you um, if you people want to see somebody who I who I uh, think is a very talented, beyond talented person with um, polymer clay, 
look up look up that Virginia Ropers. I think that's her name. She's fabulous. But then her pieces are, I don't know how big she goes. I think she does it a lot bigger than what I do um, as far as her pieces are concerned. Like her heads are like almost like this size in your palm. Going Friday morning. Good luck, Martha. I hope everything is good. How was your little vacation, your little mini vacation? Did you enjoy it? I'm sure you probably did. Okay. Now let's see. See, I'm not too sure I like how that is looking. So maybe I can. Now this was all um, glued in a line, but I can pull it apart. Okay. Alrighty, and this is getting this is getting gunky. You know, there's no help for it. You have to keep this clean because it gets so gunky when you're trying to do, especially during hair, trying to do hair. You did enjoy it. Excellent. I'm so glad. All right, get rid of some of this fuzziness. Now I may want her to have bangs. So let's see, should I put bangs on her? Too much bangs, this would be too much. Too much, so we'll just break up some. That should really go on that side. So I'll put that on that side because of the way it's laying. Now, the problem with putting the hair in before I'm totally finished with the uh, face coloring is that it's going to be hard to uh, change the paint color around the, um, around the painting around. But you know what? This is okay. It's fine. I'm not going to get crazy about it because it's not one of them crazy, those crafts that I have to get crazy about. It's just sort of like a little off the wall type thing for Halloween. Oh, and I started working on the purple one, but the purple one doesn't come out as well. It, this started to go into a skull shape, but I'm going to make this a witch too. But I really wish this purple would come out. It's such a beautiful purple. It's one of, it's my favorite. Of all the purples, that's my favorite. Nice, dark, rich purple okay so now i'm not gonna like i don't really have enough of this to do another a doll of to do another hair thing but i'm not going to throw it out until i'm finished with this because um i need to have in case i need to have extra and like right here i think i need a piece so let me see. Let me see if I have a piece that I want to use for that. This is something I didn't glue. Let's see. Is this good? Yeah, that fits. That goes in that area. That looks nice. Ah, ah, where are you going? Where are you going, little lady? Come back. Okay, 7.39. Wow. I feel like I've been on for hours. Only 40 minutes. Hope my sister can come in today. 
she's been sending me all sorts of stuff because of the uh, my recent diagnosis. All right, so now I just have to get some stuff. So let me let me organize myself. Let me. I'll be right. I'll be right there. You can all look at this. I'm right in the room, so I'm just gonna organize myself. But I remember my daughter put all my stuff away, so I don't. Oh, there. Yeah, Pick the right one. Thank goodness. Okay. I don't know where she <laughs> she put my needle felt in <laughs> Oh shoot, this is gonna be funny. I'm sorry. Where did she put my needle felt and stuff? Oh uh, lordy lordy. Oh here it is. Oh thank goodness. Okay, let's get this. Sorry guys. <laughs> I should have I didn't think I'd go I'd be this fast. To be honest with you, I didn't think I'd get there this fast. Do I have any? Uh-huh. Okay. Let me get uh there we go. And now I just wore that whole thing. All right, we're walking over to get the wool. Okay, let's see. Is this black wool? Yes. I'm going to do it with the easy one. And there you go. And then I need a piece of felt. And I'll show you why we're going to need a piece of felt. I'm just moving things around, guys. I hope I have a few piece of black felt. Please. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. This one. Okay, it doesn't matter which one. I am totally annihilating this room. That's good. And I just have to find a pencil. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. I know I should have done this all when I was. Okay. Is that going to show? All right. Whoops. No, this one's going to show. Coming back. Coming back. Okay. Here we are. Ah. Okay. Whew, 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 whew. We got everything we needed in the fell swoop. Okay. Except we need a drink. This is felt. You get it. You know the sheets of felt. You get it. Uh, Michaels. And all right. This is how I do this. This is actually how I do this. How wide do I want her hat? And I am going to start uh, by using the bottom of my gesso which is the same size as the, well, no, the bottom of the Mod Podge is a little smaller. So I'm going to use the bottom of the Mod Podge. Okay. Hoping something works. Sometimes you got to, like, wet these pencils to make them work. My, oh, I'm not in camera. Sorry. All I'm doing is trying to make a circle and the felt so I can cut it. Oh, that's good. I think that should be big enough. And I'm not in camera. I love working when I can with felt because it doesn't fray, you know? And that's so nice when you start to work with fabric and they're always fraying and you got to worry about hems and stuff. That's a pain in the neck. But felt, it doesn't fray. So it's, it's you cut it and you don't have to worry about it. And that's what I like. Low maintenance fabric. Velvet's the worst. I mean, if velvet wasn't, for me anyway, 
if velvet wasn't so absolutely gorgeous, I wouldn't use it. But it is so hard because it moves. And trying to sew it, and then if you then it has a nap. And if you make a mistake, you get glue on velvet. You might as well just kiss the piece goodbye. You got to do it all over again because even if you use even if you use fabric tack and you use acetone, the acetone will lift the fibers right out of the velvet. It's it's not good. Yay! All play bases are done. Excellent. Good for you. Excellent, Martha. Send me a pic so I can show everybody. Okay, so now I'm going to these these uh, these scissors are from Hunger also. Okay, I got to keep watching to see if my sister's here. If she comes up, because she might get here. And the first thing you do is if you see if that's a big enough hole for it. No, I got to make it a little bigger. Okay. Okay. Cora isn't here yet. All right. What time is it? Oh, it's 7.46. We still have 15 more minutes before Cora will get here. I want this hat to go like... All right. I got to go more on the front because I want it to go down more. Let's see. Yep, that's good. That is good. Okay, so this is what her hat's going to be, and it covers all of the back, so we're not have to worry about how just some pieces of the, the hair is going to show. Okay, we like this. All righty, right? We like this. It's fluff all over the place. Garbage. Okay, so... I'm going to glue it down and everything is flying. Here we go. Thank you. Yeah, she's got a little she's got a little stuff going on here. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this out. Okay. I'm going to bend it here because that's where it was stuck in her head. We're going to take this and we're going to wrap it with a uh, pipe cleaner, chenille stem. And the reason why you're wrapping wire with this is so that it gives the wool something to hold on to. Okay. These are from. These, 
I have to get a new pair. Okay. All right. So that's good there. And so I have some of my, this is a, a very fluffy piece of uh, wool. This was probably um, a core wool because I did get black core wool at one point. And core wool is very, let's see if I can um, explain this. I think I've tried most wool. Here's another one. Okay, let's get this here. This is two different types of wool. See this wool when I pull this out? The length of the, whatever you call it, strands. The length of the, I, I know there's a name for it and I'm messing it up. But how long they are. So this is, I don't remember what kind of wool is, but, and this is all of the little pieces. This is a core wool. Look at the strands. They're all, it's not a long strand at all. So this is what you use to wrap around to begin with, because most of the time, at least in um, Sarafina, where I buy my wool, the core wool is less expensive than the other wools. So you can... Um, you can use them and just use your top coats and your other your other wools to needle felt the top. But I don't really, you know, I don't, I'm going to be needle felting this and I'm just trying to get this piece off. It's aggravating me. Um, I'm going to be needle felting this a lot. So okay. And I have glue on my fingers. Let's get the glue off the fingies. Oh, there's my sister. Yay. Hi, Cora. Hi, my sister. Hi. I just uh, snuck out of work a little bit early. So I thought I'd jump on and stuff because I miss all you guys. Miss you guys and gals. How's everybody doing? Well, we got some updates. Okay. Um, Barbara's not feeling so well. Oh God, sorry, Barbara. What's going on? I. Well, she's not. She might not be here right oh. now. She might just be okay. resting. But her daughters are here. Oh, good. Um, let's see. Martha's getting her test results on Friday. Oh goodness. Okay. Keep fingers crossed Sandra, for that, Martha. Huh? Sandra has arm is getting her arm or shoulder is getting better. That's a good sign. Okay. Um uh Joanne was was doing more gardening. Oh, but very good. Got, be careful of that gardening. I'm telling you, that garden I have to do some gardening, and I must tell you, I keep putting it off because it's backbreaking. But yeah. But and if yeah okay so okay. and then anthony anthony <laughs> he's in the hospital what the heck yeah he's hi everybody the... hi joanne hi shannon okay go ahead what's the matter with him um he's got it what did he he's got to get um one of his arteries cleared out i think a blockage oh, removed his heart i, I assume so because that's what I always assume when they say blockage removed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because he, okay. no, yes, it is because he had a stress test. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So that's and what it is. Shirley is good. <laughs> and Shirley, good. I'm so happy. Good, good, good. Hi, Shannon. So, yeah, so you're making you're rich and all you, all, all I, I, <laughs> <What? laughs> whenever I tune in, you're needle felting. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah well, if there was, if there was a needle felting award, uh, you, would get the, you would get the award for needle felting. Well, you know what, my sister, I have to tell you, it's a fun way to get it. Where else could you stab something so many times? Well, that's it. So trouble. you, you, you stab stuff and I eat friggin' potato chips to crunch, you know, to get my aggression out. That's it. Right. So well, it's Cora, definitely you, better for the figure to be using a needle than it is to be eating potato chips. 
Well, I can't. I got to watch out for the salt now, so I can't even have potato oh, chips. Oh, mother of God! I'm sorry I mentioned that. I, did you tell everyone you have to watch out for salt? Yeah, I told everybody all my problems. Oh my God! Well, you okay. weren't here, so I didn't know what to talk about. So I just <laughs> <laughs> between the Nicaraguan gum and the and the uh, high blood pressure, I was just going to town here. Well, you know, it is what it is. We're getting it fixed. We know what to do. Yeah. So not yeah. To, not to worry. Don't panic. We're good. I'm not panicked. I'm good. I know. I I get panicked, but I'm just, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Don't panic. <laughs> Talk to me. God, this is some self-talk, my sister. Um, <laughs> I'm don't sorry. Don't panic because then I'm going to have to go and get some. What? <laughs> then I'm going to have to go to the doctor and get some more uh, sedatives. Oh yeah, yeah. I love when you say don't panic because you're usually the one at the. Pitch. I'm a panicker. Right. You know, I'm a, from day one. I'm the older sister. I'm allowed to panic. The first okay. one that's born is the panicky one. I want, do you mind if I just take just make me? Miss, just make you what? On the screen? No, I, yeah, please do that. Thank oh, you. So that this I way I can, to, uh, huh? I didn't want to do that without telling you. No, that's all right. I'm, I'm, I just wanted to say hi to everybody, but now that I'm, now that I'm hanging with the, <laughs> with the gals. Shannon says nobody panic. That's right, Shannon, nobody panic. <laughs> so I'm sitting here eating almonds because I felt like faint. June, oh. I was getting weak. Getting <laughs> weak. I was getting weak. Oh, uh, like my fa my father. I'm sorry, my father. He was a very quiet man, but he was very funny. If you just had to pay attention to him, and if he didn't have food at like noon, he'd say to my mother, "I'm getting weak." <laughs> she had to have everything ready for him on the table. On the table at noon. According oh, to his, yeah, according to his time schedule, yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Well, she, yep. yeah, she, she did it to him. I mean, so you know, I was getting, I was getting, I was getting weak. He was getting weak. He's getting weak. Yeah. So I had um, to eat a couple of almonds here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that might be here. <laughs> Just so you know. You might be what? And that might be watching. Oh, fabulous! Hey, and Evelyn. You know what? It's funny because I just came across a picture of her and you guys. I was looking through some pictures for some, uh, some specific shots that I was looking for, and I and I came across that one. So I was like, "Oh, I was so came happy." Across what one? You with Anne Evelyn and uh, EC and Megan. I guess it was oh, okay. like one of the Thanksgiving ones. I don't know. Oh, okay, nice. Gary Gary wasn't in the shot, so I don't know. I assumed right. he was the one taking the picture. Maybe. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know. So what are we making a glamorous witch? Well, yeah. Oh, she's very glam. Look at this. Wow. Look at the hair, my sister. How did you, what's the hair made out of? I don't know what this is called. I forgot. I've had this for such a long time, Cora. I don't know what it was, viscose or doll hair. I really don't know. Um, nice. But I have just like a hank of it. So I just decided that I was going to use it for this one because uh, the oranges matched up really nicely, uh -huh. you know, and I just wanted to get rid of it, to be honest with you. So I decided. It's a redhead. I love it. Yeah. And then I you know started. They say about, you know what they say about redheads, right? No. Hair of red, crazy in bed. Don't ask. What? Let's what? keep this. Let's keep this. What let's keep saying? this on the up and up. I don't know. Hair of red, crazy in bed. That's all I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> and now you don't call people redheads. You call them they're, they're ginger. Ginger. They're ginger. Oh, you can't. You don't call them redheads anymore. No, just like UFOs are not UFOs. They're uh, UAPs now. Unidentified aerial something. Phenomenon? Aerial something. Huh? Uh, unidentified aerial phenomenon. Non -non oh yeah, there you go. That's nin, it. Nin, 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 nin. Good job. You know what, Corey? They don't call anything anything the way we used to call it, okay? I know. I'm sorry. It's, it gets very Why do you have to change everything? I'm so like, you know, it, it just makes me off balance. Like, why do you have to change everything? It was good enough. I mean, do you have to change UFOs? Like, it's an unidentified flying object anyway. 
Right. Yes. Ginger is hot. Joanne likes. <laughs> what do you mean, Joanne? Ginger is hot, meaning people with red hair? Ginger is hot. That's what she said. Uh huh. Red haired Ginger. people. Huh? Red haired people. Yeah. Well, okay. not redhead anymore. Now we got to. Okay. So, so that's why this is a glamorous witch. Well, now I have to needle felt with the hat on her. So now oh, we're going to get our little needle felting finger things, our little leather things, because I really don't want to hurt myself. I got enough things going on. Shannon says, or oh, the food. Oh, <laughs> right. Is ginger hot the food or is ginger? Yeah, I know. No, I was talking about hot, hot. Like sexy hot. But I'm not sure what Joanne is referring to. Anyway, so what else is new? What's happening across the board here? Oh, Joanne said in reference to your statement about bed. Got it. Joanne, are you a redhead? Are you ginger, Joanne? Joanne is not, she's not responding. <laughs> well, maybe she is, and I'm getting it late here on the West Coast. So I was debating about whether or not I should have some almonds or whether or not I should have some pretzel nuggets, right? Sourdough pretzel nuggets. So Ooh. here we go. So I really wanted the pretzel nuggets because I needed the crunch. However, I'm looking and I'm saying, okay, about 18 of those. 110 calories but at least that's got more protein also has probably more fat but i weighed the options and i looked at my i looked at my uh salted my almonds and um my almonds said that for a quarter cup quarter cup it was 180 calories so i opted for the quarter cup and it's not a bad little portion so uh joanne is a gray head lady who has gone blonde oh nice good I'm gray here too, and I, you know, I get it. I get the two processes, Joanne. I get it. The gray first goes to brown, like a light, kind of a lightish brown, and then of course I do the highlights and stuff. So I got, I have, I don't know what the hell color hair I have now, but anyway, so I get it. I was gonna go all blonde, but then I didn't like the way the blonde looks on my face, so I like the highlights, like the light and uh, light and dark. I think it just makes me look a little younger. So that's why I went that way. But I love my sister's hair. She's got great hair and it's all, it's more white than than gray, right, June now? At the top front, yeah. But yeah, in, the back, it's, in the back, it's still salt and pepper. Yeah, but it's really very pretty, the color it is. Got to tell you. Well, I don't want to have to go through that anymore. So I know. You know that enough. Well, it's a pain in the ass. I used to do it myself, and then, you know, out of the box from the, from the, um, from the drugstore, uh -huh. and it was getting darker and darker and darker until somebody said to me, "Oh, do you have black hair?" Because I was just all I was doing was covering the roots with brown, which I thought, you know, uh, a dark brown. But everybody was saying, "Oh, you have black hair," and I'm like, "Black." But it was because of the accumulation of time after time every month that I have to do it. It was getting darker and darker. So then I said, you know what? That's it. I'm going to the salon. I want to go blonde. And I'm not, you know, so it was a process. It took a long time. But now I'm on the other side of it. So that's, so that's wonderful. Joanne said you have beautiful hair, June. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I haven't been looking at chat because you. I know. That's here. why I'm, I'm that's why I'm here. I thought no. Yep. That's why you're here. My sister. Well, there you go. Oh, and a delivery truck is coming. I wonder if it's coming to me because if it's coming to me, I'm going to run downstairs and get it before William gets home. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't believe it's coming to me. I think it's coming to my neighbor. All right. She got an earlier box too. What the hell is she doing? I got to tell you. As as I sit here, I'm on my desk and I can see out the, needless to say, I can see out the window where all the traffic comes into the cul-de-sac. And earlier, earlier, the post, a post lady brought a box to her and now uh, this other service is bringing a box, huh? 
Well, I got a lot of boxes today. Did you? Got, well, today's the day. I didn't get diddly. I got Amazon. I got, um, what's the other one? FedEx. Wow. Look at you. Yeah. And you, Joanne, me too. I splurge at the beauty shop as well. I can't do it myself anymore because it just is too, it's too much. And now that I'm doing the different processes, I can't handle it. So I have to go to the beauty shop, but it's way too expensive. I'm really trying to figure out if maybe I can go somewhere else, but you know, it's hard with blonde, right, Joanne? I mean, it's hard because if it's to this or to that, it gets brassy and this, you know, you have to really get the blonde has so many, I guess all the colors have a lot of different dimensions and colors, but blonde is a pain in the butt to keep if you want it because my hair goes warm and it always gets like uh red highlights here we go and i don't like red hair on me so i always try to opt for the to go for the um um for the cool the cool blondes um wait a but wait, wait, wait a minute wait a minute i haven't reacted to this when did it, when joanne did you go blonde <laughs> Well, get with the program. <laughs> wait, a, wait a second. Wait what, did she have to call and ask for your permission? She didn't have to call and ask for your permission. She just went ahead and, and did the damn She didn't have to ask, but we didn't know she went blonde. See, that's why I asked everybody for updates. Good job, Joanne. See? <laughs> Yeah, that's why I was asking everybody what's new, what's updated. So I'm glad you gave me your updates at the beginning, but that was the health update. You're starting to remind, I, I, you know what? I'm going to bite my tongue, but you're starting to remind me of mommy. Mommy, why? Because every time I would call her from out here, from uh -huh. you know, the West Coast, she would tell me, first thing she would go through is who's sick, who's dying, who's this, who died <laughs> on the block. And I was like, Jesus, I didn't call for that. But, you know, she would give me the report, so kind of reminded me of mom when you were giving me the updates on everybody's injuries this, uh, oh, first yeah well we had a lot going on that you were well we here. did and i'm glad that you did give me the the 411 because it's good that it sounds like most people are on the mend that had some stuff so i'm very very happy well except for barbara and anthony yeah well barbara and Aunt, yeah i mean but it's well how how long has anthony been in the in the hospital i think today oh today he went I I didn't ask him a lot of questions. You know me. I don't ask oh, any of the questions. And I'm the one that asks everything because I'm the recruiter, right? So I ask question after question. So yeah. where's is Barbara? How what's happening with Barbara? How is she not feeling well? No, she had tummy hurt. So Oh yeah. my God. Does she know about bitters and soda? Uh I don't know. All right. So for her daughter's here to tell her. I always had a very, very, very sensitive stomach growing up. And so I've always been on the lookout for natural things where if I could help myself without having drugs or this or that, because when I was younger, I used to take a lot of not Alka-Seltzer, but what we call Brioski. And I think we talked about that once before on this call. But anyway, so as an adult, I, I don't know where I found this out, but for an upset stomach, if you put club soda and you get the... Um, Oh gosh, I forget how you say it. Anastura, I think it is Anastera bitters, AG, which is at the yeah, store. I have them. Right. And put bitters in the, you know, spray some bitters, uh, put uh, some like drops of, well, like, not more, make the club soda a light pink. Okay. And then put a lemon peel in it and it helps bad tummies. The bitters help spare tummies? Yeah. Are you you oh. didn't know that? No. Oh my god, it settles your stomach right away. I've been drinking it, but that has a lot of alcohol and I can't have it's alcohol. It's only not 13% alcohol. It doesn't have a lot. And you're it's not drinking. Like you're 40, only it's like 40%. That's like no, really you're not no no no. Not the one. No, I'm talking about the one that's the herb like you use in cooking. The agonist small bottle. Huh? The one in the little bottle with the yeah. yellow cap. Yeah. Check that out. It's 47% alcohol. But June, you're you're hardly putting anything. I mean, you're putting what five, six drops in? I mean, uh, depending. Well, it's I mean, you're not using very much of it. It's not like you're drinking a shot of it or anything. Anyway. No. no. But, okay, so uh, the girls, uh, Joanne said BRB. Now, I'm not sure what that means. Be right back. 
Ah, gotcha. Thank you, June. And then Martha said June sent a pic. Yeah, she sent me a picture. I was waiting for us. Okay, hold on. And then Martha Thank also you. said all earrings are a little different. Oh, she's making earrings. Can everybody see that? Yes, it looks like beads. Is that what it is, Martha? Like yes, little beads? She, she beads. Oh, very pretty jewelry. And that's a bracelet, I would assume, underneath, right? The bracelet yeah. and two pairs of earrings. Okay. Very pretty. Wow. Good for you, Martha. They are very pretty, Martha. I was so busy showing them, I couldn't even look at them. They're gorgeous. Yeah, they're really pretty. Martha is so talented. God, she does so many different things. Good for you, Martha. Yeah, Shannon, so tell, tell, yeah, tell, um, tell your mom to get that because it really, really works. Now, do you use, do you use club soda or salsa? Because club soda has club soda. soda in it. I use club soda because club soda by in and of itself is uh -huh. good to settle your stomach. So with the club soda with the bitters in it, it just really takes care of it. Like I remember one time I had, my stomach was just turning and I thought any minute I'm going to have to run to the bathroom. Right. So, and I was going to lunch with a client and I was like, what the heck am I going to eat at lunch? And so when I got there, I asked him for a bitters and soda with the lime, uh, the lemon. And I was waiting for her. And so by the time she got there, my stomach was already calm. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. So yeah, everybody's saying how, uh, how pretty Martha's earrings are and that, you know what, they look great on your witch because let me tell you, it's like the same colors that the witches. I mean, she's glamorous. Maybe we need to put a set of earrings on her. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't even have ears. I know, I'm kidding. <laughs> but Martha, very pretty. Okay. So now this one, until I figure out what to more to do with her, which I will do with the blush and the and the makeup a little bit. She's pretty much done. I guess I gotta do a hat rim. Yeah. And a hat brim. And I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to just do this, like and or just leave it open open fluffy you know what i'm saying i opt for open open just like that yeah i think so i think that it looks yeah it looks better because it looks like a cape otherwise it looks funny okay all right so now let me see she's so cute what's her name i gotta, Do we I name gotta her? work on getting a little bit better lighting i know i said that last week but i gotta work on doing that oh this is a new studio does everybody know it's your new studio yeah, I told him that too. Leave it open. It. open. Shannon wanted leave. you to leave it open too. See, we're in okay. agreement. Okay. I'm just uh, fixing up the. Um... Just I'm... needle felt yourself. Needle felt or die. Needle felt or what? Die. Die? Yeah. It's like that's your life is needle felting. You know, I know I it's you know, Cora, it's a uh, it's a means to an end. Right. That's but you have so is. much patience. I would never have patience to be plucking, you know, like unless I was actually had like oh. I was imagining the face of somebody I didn't like when I was doing the needles. <laughs> that's um Yeah, that's that what you call it. Oh, from God. uh yeah, from Louisiana. Uh, that's uh, voodoo? Yeah, voodoo. There you go. There you go, voodoo. That, oh, um, what do they call that? I forgot what it's called, though. What? When you, st when you stick this, it's called a, a doll when you're sticking the needles in it. It's a voodoo doll, though. What? A voodoo doll, though. No. No. Oh, okay. Martha says it takes hours to do one of the, of those bracelets. So I uh, sh uh, sh shorted myself on 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 money. Oh yeah, yes, yes, Martha. I know. Yeah, uh, it's you got You always gotta watch out because with the money and trying to. Well, figure it takes out. a long time to do these beautiful things. I mean, it really. You know, it's not like it's just 
like it just never amazes it always amazes me june like that you have a bottle and then all of a sudden it takes on a whole different you know it becomes something else like it wasn't that before but here it is you know it's just amazing to me how you can create how people can create so martha do you go by um do you like just come up with the designs yourself or do you have some kind of a guide that you look at and you say okay that's a pretty design i'll i'll put the beads in this design or is it something that is just you know natural oh about the price oh a friend that ordered them okay <laughs> is it a voodoo doll it's a, it's that is that what it's called when you stick the needle the, the pins in it no it's called something else but it is a voodoo doll she's oh she, you saw it on a video martha nice cool very pretty because whatever that whatever that is is i really believe in it so i don't i don't mess with that stuff i know because that yeah that's that stuff really i think has a lot to it yeah you don't want to mess with it at all no i don't yeah i mean no it gives me the heebie-jeebies okay all right so now i have to Aww. i don't know, need something it said voodoo doll okay thank you shannon it was a voodoo doll yeah with the pin cushions. Okay, so now what do we need? I don't know if I have, let me see. I might have something in my furniture, uh, like fabric that I could make a little rib for around her hat. What color are you thinking? Are you thinking gold? What? What color are you thinking? I'm, I'm keeping it in the same color family. Um, ah. let, me, let me see if I have the, the, the fabric, I'm, if I can find the fabric I'm thinking of. If not, then, ah, yes, here it is. Look at that. I want it in my life. It's right here. See, there you go. And there you have it. And we're <laughs> 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 so off to the races here. Yep. Okay. Coming along very nicely with this uh, uh, glamorous witch. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is, is that a blouse or something or a pillowcase? I no, I, I bought that. I bought this as fabric for because oh, okay. I like the colors. Yeah, and it look it would look nice on witches, so that's why I bought this fabric. Very good, my sister. Very good. Yeah. Yes, 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 my sister. We're trying. We're doing. We're trying. That's going to look very nice on her. Yep. Yes. Yep. 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 Okay. Yep. 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 yep, yep. Oh, yes, who is, is is rolling down the street that I can see. Mr. We're Cook rolling. is rolling down the street. Who's rolling? Mr. Cook, he's coming home. Oh, goodness gracious. So well, it's only 817. I know. The days that we're on, he's on time. Every other day he shows up mm -hmm. like God only knows what time. It's amazing. So he's like, oh, you're going to be out with your sister today? And I said, yes. And then here he is. You know what I mean? yeah <laughs> which makes me which makes me nervous because then when i get when we get off i have to rush and make you know try to figure out something for dinner now i ate my almonds so i'm not sure i want too much calories for dinner so i don't know what the hell i'm going to do for that but all right well i don't know how much you know I, i'm trying to do things here oh what i wanted to ask everybody okay uh wait let me just finish i ha hey i did get in Oh, good, exactly. Martha. She's gonna go. She's gonna go live too at some point. Oh, good. Uh, you know, I was talking to Barbara the other day. Yeah. Um, you know those. The ladies here should know it. Those craft closets, not the craft closet, the craft cubbies. I have to go on YouTube and look at look it up. But does anybody know anybody with a craft cubby? What's a craft cubby? Like it's a, it sort of looks like um. I forgot the name of it. Otherwise, I tell you to look it up, Cor. It's okay. Uh, and if I could, if I could look it up, but I'll I'll screw everything up with the stream yard on my computer, so I don't want to do that just yet. Yeah. It's it's like a 
how can I describe it? a big rectangular box, like a nine foot rectangular box that yeah. when you open it up, it's got all sorts of shelves and um, like bookcases. It's almost like a big bookcase with all sorts of shelves. And in the center, there's um, this thing that you can pull the table down. So you could put all your crafts in there. Oh, nice. My look sister. Up, if, you, if you can go online, like I, I, you know what, I'll send you the link when I look it up. But does anybody know of anybody who has one of those? Because they're very expensive. Oh, I, I just looked it up. Dreambox craft storage cabinet. A green box? I'm not sure. Dream, what dream, like you're going to sleep. Dream box, okay. craft storage does cabinet. Like, does it look like when you open it up, it, it's like a, a whole big thing? Yeah. However, that one is really expensive. It's $2,200, but there's another one, Cubby by Create Room, which is smaller, but it's not bad. That's $349. Okay, well, those are the things that I'm talking about that I was looking to, you know, if I ever move and I don't have organized. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They have a lot of different, like overstock.com has a, var a variation of it and stuff. So there's quite a few different types of, of things like that available. So you don't have to pay that kind of money. Yes. So that's like uh, Amazon has a uh, craft cubby too. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's on Amazon, but I don't know if it's the ones you like. I'm looking at, oh, wow, there's one that's really big for 1100 bucks, like $1,000, and then there's some for like 500 No, the one I saw was over It was over 2000 with all the stuff. Yeah, so that's probably the first one that I saw, yeah. yeah. All right, well, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's, a, it's actually a business expense. Yes, that's, yeah. that's true. That's yeah. true. Okay, now we did that. See, so now we, uh, that's something I had never heard of before. So that's good. I'm learning. Yes, well, that's uh, something that I think, because right now, I mean, I have the room to, you know, spread out. But if I ever don't have the room anymore, yeah. um, I would like all my crafts in one place. And the thing I like about that is you can close it. You know? Yes. So you that can close it and, and, and like everything can be away and you don't have to have it always out. Yep. I get, you. I you got know, it. People come over. It's not like, you know, unless of course I have a mess, but whatever. Yeah. Okay. So now what do I have to do? And Ashley's uh -huh. seen them online as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to do some coloring to her face. I'll be right back again. Are you, uh, you're painting her face? I'm going to paint her face. A I'm going to give her a little color. Like oh, good. That I need to, okay, here we How did go. you make her face? Is clay, June? Did you make a face out of clay? I made it out of paper clay. Oh, paper clay? Okay. Okay. Shifting. I'm trying to figure out on Instagram if I have like uh, the words of wisdom for today or not. You have, oh, if you have the good, the, uh, good news stuff? Yeah, you know, the positive vibration stuff. Yeah, we can, we can do some positive vibrations because uh, we all got stuff going on here. I know. So let me let me look. Now I got pressure. Hold on. <laughs> you got pressure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pressure. You got the pressure. <laughs> I got the pressure. Oh, uh, no, no pressure. What's today? April 19th. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. You want me to read? Yeah. We need okay. So April 19th. That was, that was a, a thing we do. Here we go. April 19th, 2023. The universe is saying to you today, there are magical opportunities available to you at every moment. If you're willing to put your fears aside and embrace both the expected and unexpected in life. The more present you are, the more magical your day-to-day -day life becomes. Oh. That's interesting, huh? The more what I am, the more pre present. Present. Okay. Must be present. So, like, pay attention. Right. <laughs> so, basically, that's it. Okay. So, I got to pay attention. 
that like really happy with this face but you know what we're gonna we're gonna keep it because i'm not gonna get crazy about this i she needs something else i just don't know what she needs and maybe i don't know she, she does she have a neck i was thinking maybe a necklace but does she have a neck she doesn't really have a neck no right? i was thinking maybe like a a belt oh I don't know. Oh, and my camera's jumping too. Oh, because I didn't get to fix that today. Oh, I love this. Love everything. I'm putting some purple chalk. I like putting purple chalk by their eyeballs. I got to give her eyebrows. That's for sure. I got to give her yeah, eyebrows. Like after, you finish, after you finish your face, maybe you'll be more, you know, maybe you won't need anything. Who knows? I don't know. I think she. So, Ashley, was that positive enough vibes for you today? <laughs> I hope so. So Martha, what kind of little house? Martha bought some kind of a house, put together house. A tiny miniature do I want to put together house? I've been waiting. All right. I don't know what what we're talking about, but okay. I don't remember the house, Martha. I don't. I don't know if I ever saw it or you know what? I can't remember poop anyway. So let's not even go and trying to think of June remembering something. Megan, Cora, Megan wants me to go. She's thinking of making me go for the dementia. He wants you to go where? For the dementia test. Oh, my God. You know what's better? You don't know. Mm. You don't know what you don't know. What is that thing? It's a dome thingy. Oh, how nice. Okay. Um, What was I going to say? What was that thing called with the Italian cholesterol? What is that called? Because I was trying to say that and I screwed that up too. I, it's some kind of a Mediterranean syndrome and I couldn't really find anything online. It's very interesting. It must be called something different than that, but I couldn't find anything that, but this I heard years ago. So I don't even know if it's a thing. Any, I don't, I don't know. I just heard that a lot of people from the Mediterranean, um, the Mediterranean area, um have this kind of cholesterol the ratio with the bad cholesterol versus the good cholesterol because the good cholesterol is so high it counteracts the bad cholesterol and um so that it's more about the ratio than it is about the actual numbers it's about the ratio between the two that it is about the actual number of the ldl or the hdl so um yes and it's from the mediterranean region and the thought was that you know folks that use a lot of olive oil um in their cooking and in their in their diet those are the folks that kind of are, are prone to that so oh thanks martha martha uh put a link online for us to check out okay this is what you she got okay yes, you will, ashley you do have opportunities you're trying to accomplish and you're going to actually pick the right thing. So good for you. Ashley, you'll make the right decision no matter what decision it is that you make. Because exactly. that, whatever decision you make is the one that you have to travel you're on. You're supposed to have, right. The one that you're yeah. supposed to make. So whatever it is, Ashley, it'll be fine. I, yep. I know that, you know. Ashley, you, again, don't panic. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Cora's job. Don't no panicking. Panic. No panicking. But you know what the other thing is? I know you, Ashley, I know that you don't jump. You know what I mean? Like you you think of things, you go through it. I mean, you know, all the prep you did for your wedding to get the right location and stuff like that. So you you'll do it right. I have total faith in you that whatever it is, it's going to come out right. It's going to be the right decision for you. Yep. Okay. So let's see. All right. I so how does she look now with the makeup on? Let's see. Tell her well, just a little bit of makeup, not much. You oh, I see. Yeah, see yeah, yeah. You can't uh, even see. You can't even see her blush. Not really. And are you going to put lipstick on her? Yeah, I got to do that next. Okay. I got to get back up and get the uh, the color I want. What kind of what kind of paint are you using? Are these pastels? 
this is the chalk pastel. <coughs> this is the um, pan pastels. I've mentioned that before. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Pretty. I'd like a color. I'd like a blush in that color. You like a what? A blush in that color. Oh, wow. This is really intense, though. Let me tell you. Yeah, I know. You just put a little bit on. I mean, you know, you just like dab it on. You wouldn't put a, a lot. No. But just yeah. to kind of give it a little. Because a lot of makeup colors are very opaque. They don't really. The um, What's the word? They, they're not as vibrant as they look. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like, oh, this is intense color. And then you put it on. I'm like, what? Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see. This is called cinnamon stick. What is this? You're doing all oh, this is this the is um this is deco on Americana acrylic paint. Okay. Okay. So this is what I'm going to use for her lipstick. Oh. But I got strands of her hair all over the place and glue on my fingers all over. Okay. See, if you did put on makeup, June, you would get you when you do, you do it so well because you're so good with color. Yeah, I don't, I don't put on a lot of it. Well, are you talking about my dolls or on myself? No, on yourself because oh. I mean, seriously, it, you know, if you, when you do, you do such a great job because you're so good with color. Thank you, my sister. Um, but it's not, I don't. <laughs> Let's see her. Does she? Does she starting to look? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, the the sliding. We gotta we gotta improve the That's lighting. That's good. She's coming. Bit. She's coming to life a little bit. She's coming to life. I need to yeah. do. I, I need to do eyebrows and get this glue out. Yeah. The eye. Once you have the eyebrows on and stuff, I think she's gonna be fine. You make an eyebrows the same color as her lips. Uh huh. Ah. Yeah, I can put more brown in the eyebrows, but I just want to get them colored right now. Hold with on. This color. Well, yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. Can anybody see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm off screen a yes. lot. I'm sorry. No, we can see you're on there. You're on the screen. Okay. Ashley said she thought a belt, a belt would be cute or some buttons. Yeah, I'm thinking she needs something, right? Yeah, she something. needs something. I think so. I don't know. Once you get her makeup done, she might. Well, yeah, I think probably I think she, she needs need a something. little something. The problem is, is that supposed to be her body? See, that's what yeah. I wore. Her it's body sort of is like, huh? It's sort of like um, not not realistic. This is Joanne's not back. Hi, Joanne. Huh? Hi, Joanne. This is not realistic at all. I mean, it's just sort of like a little something to. I can't. Uh, it's, a it's, it's a Halloween a Christmas ball. Yes, but she does need something here. Or, yeah. I, I wait, maybe. I like Ashley's idea about the buttons. That's a kind of a good idea. Yeah, a button down there or what? I did this, but Megan felt it was too much. Let's see. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's something black? Uh-huh. Hold on. Let me just cut this off a little bit. What do you think if I just put something like this on her? It's hard to see. What is it? It's just a, oh, it's just a, it's just a. Oh, I see. Oh. I can't, I can't hold it down. Yeah. And, and show at the same time because it's. Yeah, let's do it from side to side. Let me get Martha my said, Martha said, cut a hole in the belly and make it a cauldron. Oh, well, if yeah. I do, I would, I should have done that first because now I'll get the, the um, glitter all over, but that's an excellent idea, Martha. That would have been a great idea, Martha. Good, good, good. Yeah, she's very creative. That's, a, that's, yeah, that would have been cool. You may have to make another one like that. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> I know. So I think think? I like that. What I, do you think? Is this I like the black. I like the black because it kind of matches her hat and her cape. I don't know if it, if it covers too much of, of the orange of her body, though. 
Joanne says it looks sort of like a beard. <laughs> oh gosh, no. <laughs> yeah, we don't want it to look like a beard, right? Let me see. Oh yeah. Okay. That's hard. Oh, wait, if I did it more, just cut it. How about if I just did a little part? Like if I cut this down. Okay, you can't see this. This lighting, everything is screwed up here. How yeah, about she that? Says a black bow would be cute. That no? I think that's too much. Too much? Okay. Yeah, I think so. All right. Hold on. Let's get there. You know what? You could you could tie a little like um ribbon, black ribbon around her thing and put a bow on it. Okay. I can put a bow with the all right. Yeah, like a little black bow or something and just let, let it hang, you know, let the huh? we're going we're going deep. Well, you know me, I'll use curling ribbon on everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, that's cute. A little something just around her stomach like that. Or hold on, we got a lot of we got a lot of poop in here. Not poop. We got a lot of stuff in here to look at. I June, you just made the mess all right i just dumped a whole bunch of stuff down i don't know if you can see it okay let's see this is oh i like these let's see what i have here um these are all pieces uh no mm -mm. no right no no okay no. moving on all right so let's put this, <laughs> let's put this back in here this is not for this. This is um, that stuff that fell on or something. Oh, wait. With something, with just one look good? One what? One of these. Is that like a, a feather boa? <laughs> no, this isn't a boa. Just one. No. See? No, I don't like it. You don't like just one? No, I don't think so. How does okay. everybody else feel about that? I'll put that there. What's this? Oh my god, me. Okay. This this is black tool. I don't need that. Let's put that back. Oh, I, think so. we should, I think we should call her Ginger. We should what? Her name is Ginger. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Unless anybody else has something different they want to oh they want to uh okay. contribute. Here's a I don't have ribbon. This is this is poof. Okay, that's going out. We're, we're getting rid of stuff as I'm going through, which is good. All right. This is poof. Okay, these are all pretty. Honey, good. are you here? No. Oh. Is he here? I don't know. Well, what do you mean? You hear him and, and he's not there? No, I know he came in, but I didn't, um, I don't know where he is now. Okay, I this is like just it. one little piece of um, floss. Yeah, I don't no? like it. Okay. <laughs> Joanne said the sheer trim around the middle looked good. The first one that you did with the just the like the belt. Yeah, I have a thicker piece. Hold on. Well, see, the thing is, I don't. That's what I was talking about. I, I like if you if you if you take up too much of the orange, I I want now. Nah, it's gonna look too dark. Okay. I think the little piece. The little piece was nice. Okay, I'm just trying to see if I have a little piece that has designs. The one that you first put, you right. uh, first. No, yeah. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm just, I haven't been through looking through this to see. I know what you're saying. I'll find that little piece. It's in here somewhere. Yeah, because that was, that was kind of pretty. Okay. All right. So let's, where is it? Hold on. Okay, I have this. Hold on. Everybody stop. I got that. Yeah, that's the one I think. Okay. I got this. The one you had put around her tummy. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm trying to. I think William's working in the garage. He's been organizing the garage. He got these, he got these uh shelves from Home Depot this uh -huh. weekend. And he's he put them together and he put them because we had to get organized with all the stuff in the garage, like almost like you're talking about that cubby, but we needed yeah. it for all the crap we have. So basically, 
he is, he put it up and now he's organizing everything, throwing a lot of stuff out and seeing what, uh, yeah, finally we, we may be able to get two cars in the garage because really. Oh, that's nice. That, does anybody like this? Down the front? Yeah. I don't, but I don't know. Okay. I got everything is sort of sticking to each other right now, which is a yeah. little try, a little bit annoying. This, you know what? Oh, that's getting tossed out. Everything is sticking to each other, just to make my life more interesting. That's getting tossed. Okay, that's too big. That's too big. All right, we'll figure that. Those are all too big. This one, that one was the thin one, and this one wouldn't look good because it's too gothic -y, I think. I like this on certain other things, right? This one is smaller, but I think I like the, the lacy one better. Me too. I okay. like the lacy one better. Okay. Then we got it. I think we're going, that's it. We're going forward with the lacy one. Yeah. Okay, let's see this thing. No, too intense. Like it's too heavy. I think the other yeah, one was pretty because it, it's okay. more it's more in keeping with her cape, you know? Okay. Let's do it then. Let's do it, do it, do it. Martha liked something. I don't know. Martha said love that. I'm not sure which one she loved. Um well, let's see okay. what let's see what this one looks like. Put that one on. Yeah like a belt let's see okay everything is sticking to everything oh yeah yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> that's so annoying okay let's see well face her up to it so the camera we can see her yeah i think that looks good what does everybody think i think that's the best out of everything we've looked at uh, not getting too much response from the uh on this from the from the girls hold on martha likes it well martha loved that i'm not sure it was uh okay martha likes it and ashley likes it so all right and shannon it, says looks good so we're good you know, i don't know i still feel like i wanted something to go around her collar i don't know but all right let's get this down Whew. Okay. Let's see how we're going to do this. Okay. Fabric tack to the rescue. I'll do it in the back. So that <laughs> everybody seems to be in agreement about that one that they like that the best. Okay. Well, we'll do it. I don't know who last seven six five four is, but they like that. Hey, Toby, how are you? That's Toby. Oh, hi, Toby. How are Martha you? Martha said Martha loved the first thing. Just need to be cut down. She liked the first thing that you put on, but she wanted it to be cut down. You know that okay. first like kind of paisley thing. And then okay. Ashley said like it. You like that you tied a little bow on her neck. It would look like her cape was tied on that right. way if you put something around her neck. Right. I'll do that. I'll do that. I have ties. I have things. Well, I'm, going okay. to, I, I'm going to use this one for right now. <laughs> Martha liked the, the one that looked like a beard cut down, though. <laughs> oh, okay. I got it. I know. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Let's just get this on. Okay. How are you, Toby? Okay, there we go. Let's oh, see. Oh, goodness. All right. Her hair's got to come down, too. I mean, I got to fuss with this because there's more fibers coming out than anything else. Yeah, we can't even see the fibers, so. Oh, okay. Just Cute. a little something there. Yeah. And then, um, 
the, the, the so Toby's been quietly watching, but decided to to uh, to weigh in. I'm I'm glad. So yay, Toby. I'm fine with weigh-ins. Okay, I'm just trying to put things away here. Now I need to find. Hold on, I'm looking for some black uh, cord. Okay. I think. Well. What, what, babe? Do you, think it, do you think it's too much now that you put that around her stomach? Do you think it's too much around her neck too? Something else? I mean, I don't know. Because I can't find anything. I can't find any black. <laughs> oh, no. oh shoot! Happy mushrooms. I tell okay. you. All right. Well, you know what? We don't have to do it now. All right. Let's see. It's eight forty-four. Oh, okay, you know what? My sister, it's eight forty-four. Oh my goodness, already! Jeez, Louise. No, we already got through the whole night almost. I know, right? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to put things back in the right spots. Where Martha I'm says she it. likes the way it looks, just the way it is. So do I. Okay, here we go. I think I'll getting put more black on it is going to be too much. It's going to okay. be overpowering because her face is so little. I think that that's fine. All right, let me put a little, I don't know, am I, I'm on screen. Good. Okay. A little glue here just to hold it up. Yeah. Let it dry a little bit. Always, when you, you know, when you can, let it dry a little bit. It holds better. Again, yeah. It doesn't go through the fabric as much, but it'll still hold it. Toby, I'm on Pacific time too. You what? Toby's on Pacific time right now, and so am I. I was oh, just I'm telling Toby I'm on Pacific time, too. Okay. So here she is. I'll take a picture of her and put her up on Facebook. I might yeah. do a little something here and there to her just to make her feel better for me. Very good. Know, whatever. But then good job. She little, there she is. is. Hi, Ginger. Good job. <clears throat> okay. So... That's done. Oh, well, she's in Arizona. Fabulous. I'm in LA. Toby. A little bit more needle felting to. Toby, how hot is it in Arizona today? Are you. Uh, oh, you're needle felting your hat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shannon loves it. Uh. All right, so there we go. Little witch. Oh, Nothing she's dead. cute. Little witch for Halloween. Using Very cute. Using a Christmas ball. That's all. That's all. We were trying to find different things to do using the Christmas balls. And yeah. So I think, you know, all she's in all. She's cute. Ashley okay. says she's cute. It's 78 right now in Arizona. Here it's uh, in LA, it's probably somewhere around 60 something. I don't know. It was kind of cool still oh. today. Or what we're used to. But anyway, hey, June, can I, when you turn the um, camera on, when I say goodnight to everybody, can I show them what you made me? Uh, sure. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Let me, let me get my mouse because I'm going to do it right now. Okay. I'm going to flip me first. Hold on. So flip let me, you. Let me flip. Me. Oh, 95 by Saturday, huh? Oh boy. Okay. Well, still, yeah, but it's such a dry heat sometimes that it's not so bad, you know, in Arizona when it's All even right, that hot. Yeah. And I'll enjoy it. I hope you're so getting some sun. Huh? Oh, here we are. Hey. Okay. So I wanted to show you all what my sister surprised me with. And she surprised me with, oh, gosh, this Christmas ball. I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can't see the detail because there's too much light. Shoot. It's so, so pretty. Hold on. I was just holding it up with this thing. This way. <laughs> anyway, it's got all, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me see if I can, I'm going to shut the blinds a little bit so you can maybe see a little better uh, because it's really very, very pretty. No, I don't think so. I don't think it's going to work. Let me see. I think I, I think I have some good pictures of a core because I was going to pull. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, you can't really see that, the definition of it. No. Now, but it's yeah. really, really pretty. It's silver and it's got all kinds of um glitz on it and stuff, uh, you know, all crystals and stuff. It's so, so pretty. And I love it. And I do, I usually do a tree in 
in silver and white. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, so that's going to be a very nice compliment on. It's got a little itsy bitsy uh, gold on it as well, which is good because some of my ornaments are not only silver, but the, some of them are like that antique silver or they look almost like a champagne color. So that's going to be really, really pretty on the tree. And I will, of course, take a picture when I do. Can't wait for, we're going into the summer, but I can't wait for Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. Anyway. Oh, okay. So now a whole set of Wizard of Oz like that. That's an interesting thing. I'm just going back because I missed it. Uh, 90 oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Carolina. Wow. 77 in North Carolina. Uh -huh. Where is my... And you know what? Right now, let me tell you what it is in L.A. because I was like, hold on. I'm trying to find out what it is in New York, too. I'll tell you what it is in New York. I can tell you from my thing if it's I can 53. get it over. Fifty. How much? What? How much? 50, 53. 5'3". Oh, yeah. It says 5'2 on my thing for Kings Park. But in um, I'm in Palos Verdes, it's 61. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so the height the so high today was... We're the coolest one out of everybody so far. I know. It's been very, very cool and very rainy this year, but um, the high was 63, the low is 50, so. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So it's very comfortable, though. I like having a, you know, a jacket to wear and stuff, so that 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 works out for me. Yes, I like, I like cool weather. Once it yeah. hits, it got, I think it was up to 89 here last oh week or God. something. That was it. That was done. I was done. You know what? I had two days, 188, 189. I was already done with the whole summer. That's it. Do you know where you're getting the prickly heat? Oh, okay. get, the, get the powder out. I got the prickly heat. Yeah. I was getting I was getting the hot things. I know. I, I you can't even I was walking. You know what? Was, as I, I get older, I gotta work. tell you, as I get older, the heat makes me very anxious. Yeah, like I just start feeling like I can't breathe, and it just makes me really anxious. So the hotter it gets, the worse I feel. So if it stayed, you know, at 60s, 70s, I mean, if it never went higher than 80 in LA, I would be very happy. Me too. Me too. But, no, I mean, anything else that's that would make me anxiety prone. <laughs> I know, right? Seriously. Don't panic. No, I'm not panicking. I'm, I'm not panicking. Don't panic. Are you, you freezing? Are you freezing or are you not moving? Who? You. What do you mean? You're freezing. Oh, you're am freezing? I freezing? Oh. Yeah, it's very free. It's very free. There you go. Oh, look at this. See? I, I don't know what's okay. going on. I me either. I have no idea. But anyway, it's so nice to see everybody. And you have like eight minutes left. Does anybody have anything to share? <laughs> <laughs> June, if you do a Wizard of Oz, you have to do the lion next. Well, you know what, my sister? Honestly, He's my fave. Honestly, what I would really love to do, but I yeah. would never sell it and I don't want to keep it, is Chris, the Christmas Carol, the Ebenezer Scrooge. Oh. With mice. Cute. All in mice. Cute. And but the thing is, but you could say do you could you would definitely be able to sell that with all the characters. No, not because because of the price, core. They don't want it. You know, like wow. people don't want to buy things with the, with prices. Yeah. You know, because yeah. I would do the ones I would do would be Scrooge. I would do Jacob Marley. I would do Bob Cratchit, Tiny Tim, Mrs. Cratchit. Scrooge, I love how I count, right? Scrooge, Molly, Bob Cratchit, Mrs. Cratchit, Tiny Tim, um, and then the three, then the three ghosts. The three ghosts, so that's like eight. So that's eight characters, and you know, yeah. we're, yeah. we're going into that's a lot. We're going into a thousand here at least, you know, and yeah. people are not going to want to spend that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's too bad. Well, yeah. that be just Scrooge. I know I, Scrooge interests me, but you know, I have the idea for Jacob Marley, you know, with Jacob all Marley the, would be good. With all the can with all the chains wrapped around him, yeah. and all the, you know, all the books. Oh my god, everything. I think you need to do that one. I know that'll sell. Jacob Marley or Scrooge. I would do the Jacob Marley. 
Well, yeah. why don't you do two and just don't put them together, sell them separately, or if somebody wants to buy the both of them, they can. That's true. Or Ashley was saying Scrooge and the three spirits, because there's also the spirits, you know. Yeah. Make it into a Halloween theme. Yeah. I like I that idea. We'll do the three spirits. Okay. Well, you know what? We can try. We can Especially the first. future one. You know, that scary one with the finger. Yeah, I know. The fingers. And that would be great with the mouse finger hanging out. Like, because oh the God. mouse fingers look freaky anyway. Right, you know? with the whole black thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and he, he would be bigger. So, okay. like, I would have Scrooge one right. size. And he would exactly. be You have to size them up. So, he would right. be the tallest one. Right. So look very well. I'd have to read the story again and, and see if he is the tallest one or if he's just a no. He, he looks, looks the tallest. Like he's tall, you know. He seems the tallest because he towers over Scrooge when they go into the cemetery and everything. Uh -huh. He looks like he's huge. Yeah. And then so they, 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 they. Yeah. I don't know if yeah. that's just Hollywood or if that's really in the story. So I'm going to look at. The oh, story I see what you're too. saying. You know, because the first one is small. The, uh, the ghost of Christmas past is small. And then the, the ghost of Christmas present is very, like, he's a big person because right. he's got all the, the food around him. That's right. what That's I want. I, you know, I wanted to have him sitting up with all the food, all the cheese yeah. with him and stuff. Exactly. You know? That's you. Yeah. So. All righty. Well, that's food for thought, my sister. Very good. Thank you all, ladies. It's five uh, It's five minutes away, so are you signing off? Oh, my oh. oh I wanted to show, I wanted to show because this is what we decided last week and you weren't here. Oh, that's so pretty. <gasps> that is really that's pretty. One. That's so pretty, my sister. That's the one, how it, how it looked. Oh, my God. Hold it up a little bit. Let me see the end. Oh, so you put a point on the bottom. Got it. Yep. How come so your camera is so much better than mine? Can you? Oh, now you can see this. Here's my ball. Wait. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can see it better now, but it doesn't, it's not showing it's all the beautiful rhinestones. I know. It doesn't show all the beading and everything, but it's really, really, I'm just trying to hang it. So maybe. Okay. Thank you. A little bit better. Like oh, that. Okay. Good night, Martha. Good night, Bye, Martha. Martha. You can see them a little bit better. They're flashing. Yeah, yeah they're flashing as you move them. Yeah, I, think that's right. I have pictures. I think I have pictures. Megan um, took some pictures of oh, them. Oh, good. All right. So, they're beautiful. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. I love it. Okay. If you ever think of making another one similar to this, I wouldn't. I wouldn't refuse it. That's for damn sure. Not that you need to be making me stuff without charging me, though. <laughs> oh Jesus! I keep dropping my phone and startling me. But anyway. Okay. All right. Well, anyhow, thank you, Ashley. They are both beautiful. She said, "Thanks, Joanne. Thanks, Shannon. We'll see you all next week. Hopefully, I'll be able to jump on in the last hour and maybe a little early if I can kind of sneak away. So. Yes, that would be lovely. Okay. And um, Anthony, if you're still watching, remember to text me either tomorrow or Friday to let me know how you are. Oh, okay. is he on? I hope he's on. Listen, uh, good wishes, Anthony. Yes. Good night, oh everybody. And um, Barbara, too. Okay. Barbara, yeah, we're going to try to, yeah, we'll talk to Barbara tomorrow. So I just want to say good night to everyone. And um, thank you for coming in and have fun creating i'm trying to find out where my camera is have fun <laughs> creating beauty good night everybody night. Bye, -bye. Bye, guys. bye ladies i just got end the broadcast and we ended